Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at HW Info 64, also available for 32-bit, also available for DOS. Basically, this is a system information utility. Basically, kind of could say it's on steroids. There's quite a bit to it, but like anything else, it's actually very simple to use. So we're going to take a look at what you see when you start it up. You have your settings, which you might want to play with. However, I've had no real need to play around with any of this stuff, but if you have any problems running it, you might want to consider checking some of your options on here, depending on your issue. That's a whole video probably in and of itself, but again, for the most part, it should run just fine the way it is, okay? So you can run sensors only, summary only, or if you click run, you get them both. So let's take a quick look. Sensors uses your motherboard to take a look at everything on there and monitor your hardware. Everything from speeds to usage to uh, fan speeds or temperatures. So this is very important for somebody like me right now because I've actually put a new power supply in and I got a new video card and I'm about to put a new motherboard in because, well, my motherboard won't accept the video card. So by the time I get done gutting this whole computer, putting it back together, you better make really, really sure that your fans are working right, that you're able to come in and monitor your temperatures correctly to make sure you're not doing any kind of overheating because it doesn't take long to overheat a processor. But although I'll see the fans are running, I'll be confident it's running. I'd like to be able to use this just to make sure that my processor's clock is running correctly and everything's plugged in correctly and working correctly. You got to love it voltage settings anything you want is in here so the drive temperatures it's awesome uh, GPU etc again it's it's a little more hardcore for most people but if you need to play with it and you know what you're doing you probably don't need much help from me in this area so let's go back and try it again and it's again instead of running both let's just go to the summary which is what most of you will probably need just the summary so go ahead and hit run on that and there she is you have all the summary the information that you basically need now there's my processor here's what's handy too it turns out the i7 as i was changing my motherboard it turns out that there's multiple motherboards depending on which i7 you have so in about 30 minutes after i finish this video i'm in my truck to go tell them i have the socket h2 lga1155 and i can buy the correct motherboard i didn't have that information yesterday and I actually used this program to make sure that I knew exactly which i7 I had and exactly which socket I had. I wanted more information than Windows would give me. Here's my video card. There's additional information as well down here on your system memory. As you can see, I have two 8 gigabyte sticks of crucial RAM. And it'll break down if it's a DDR3. Sometimes you need to know that. Clock speed. Uh, what kind of motherboard I have, which frankly, since it's an Acer computer, I know it's an Intel board. I just don't know what it is. Now I know. There's my hard drive. I'm currently running just one in my DVD because, as I said, my computer is in pieces right now. Well, it's running, but it's in pieces somewhat. What version of Windows you have, UEFI boot, etc. So, And finally, one more time, let's start her up again. Let's uncheck everything, and let's hit run. And the reason being is... This is great if you've got the information that you want, but you might need a little bit more. For example, somebody might have told you, I need to know what kind of computer you have. I need to know how much memory you have. I need to know what your motherboard is, what drives you have, what, what sound card you have, as you can see right here. So essentially, you can come into here now, which opens by default, and you can save it. You can save it as a text, HTML, and obviously you can see a few more and you can decide where you're going to save it by clicking browse. Once you save that, you can email that or whatever you need to do to whoever's trying to help you. Now up here you have what looks like a driver update and a BIOS update. Those are actually links over to um, eSupport and their programs. So in other words, these are really actually advertisements, probably affiliate programs. You can't fault the guy for trying to make a couple of bucks. And once again, like any other program, you have your two-pane interface, but you can also come up in here and essentially you can do everything that you could do here. See, we just popped that window back up that we had closed. So you can do everything from here, create the report. There it is again. It's same thing, two different places here and where you saw it before. And that's about it. It's a nice, simple, easy-to-use program. I like it. It's been around for longer than I can remember. Major Geeks is an official mirror, so you can download it safely from us. And there you go. So if you got a minute, we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our YouTube channel or don't, you know, whatever. 
Uh, but we really like it. And we really do appreciate you watching. And we'll see you next time.